last time on Honor Bound. As we rejoin the party, they are using the momentum of their previous victory to push forward and explore the Black Keep. I'm like in the heat of battle. I've got my Valkyries for 10 minutes, so I'm just like running around, weapons in hand. Hoping to find something. Hoping to find something. At first, all their search turns up is some locked doors and a few prisoners. But then they run into some undead creatures. They manage to quickly destroy them using some unorthodox techniques. And, go, Adam. and, go, and as you go, he, he's like, Ugh. and he falls over from the 18 points of damage. They find a key on one of their fallen foes, which they use to free the prisoners before continuing their search. And it only takes a few moments before they come across another fearsome beast, and they employ a tried and tested tactic. A gorgon? <laughs> Holy fucking shit, I shut the door. <laughs> shut the door! Shut the door! Shut the door! Shut the door! The ploy fails, and a battle commences. During the battle, Theron takes the brunt of the creature's wrath, again and again, and again. Two points of damage. I'm unconscious. God damn. Utter a word of healing and raise Theron from the dead. Three points of damage. Yep, I'm back down again. Oh, to be honest, as much as this hurts you, Theron, it's probably the best strategic move that the Gorgon could be taking for us. So I I utter another word of healing, bringing you back to life. (laughs) At 6 HP. Oh, make it stop. Make it stop. (laughs) But he gets his revenge and slays the fearsome creature. And you shoot it right in the bull's eyes. In the bull's ass. The bull's ass. The arrow goes through. And Bowen, you can see like in its in its forehead, the still point of the arrow goes out. The green eyes go off. And the creature falls with a thump. But His victory is short-lived as he falls to the creature's petrifying attack. Maybe it was like a, ha ha ha, fuck you, I'm turning to stone. The remaining members retreat to a nearby room where they find some treasure and can safely recover from their injuries. After their rest, they head out again and find a staircase leading up, guarded by a magic statue, which Martor promptly destroys. It's a magical statue. I hit. I hit it with the magic destroying hammer. You you hit it with the magic destroying hammer, and you shatter it to pieces. Yes. And then you and then you hear, "You have freed me." Shit. <laughs> and in front of you stands a black <sighs> spirit. Bowen and Martor engage the undead creatures, and receive some help. From an unexpected new arrival. A halfling about 211, maybe 30 pounds, with bouncing red curly hair comes tumbling down the hallway. I uh, guess poking around the corner, short bow in hand, and goes, You there! Stop that! And fires a shot towards the thingy. Together, they make quick work of sending the wraith to its eternal rest. The wraith dies but as it dies it says you will all have a coffin in this tower awesome the- i always wanted to be buried in a giant ancient dwarven tower and the one second and the tower continues on crumbling after fleeing the collapsing tower they reach the top of the stairs where they take a moment to get acquainted with the new arrival my name is thimble Thimble Gracegrove, it's very nice to meet you. I'm the hammer wielder of legend. Mm-hmm. And who's my your friend? Name, my name is Bowen. Um, He's a stunningly handsome cleric that accompanies I'm... me. <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? Gotcha. After introductions were made, Thimble immediately sets about looting the suspicious pile of treasure with dire consequences. And I, I pull out, I look for the biggest emerald or ju- ju- uh, jewel that I can find, and I so, go f- to grab it. So, so this is what happens. You touch it, and then 
the whole mound moves and out of that mound appears a black cre a black creature with big large wings and its head fuming hot air at you. You mean like a dragon? After a brief but brutal battle, the dragon is slain. I Thimble stands atop the dragon, looking all proud, and goes, Look what I've done! Martor decides to take a closer look at the ruined door and makes a startling discovery. Body, your whole body is reacting to this door. Mart Martor, what are you doing? Oh, and why is he just standing there like that? Guys, I don't know. It looks like he's orgasming. Guys, I, guys, I think that I, don't know, I have no reason. <laughs> he's making weird noises. <laughs> guys, I think the moonstone's behind the door. As we raise a mead to our friend Theron and welcome Thimble to the story, our party takes their rest. Find out what happens next time on Honorbound. Hey everybody, and welcome to Honorbound, Redemption of the New Guard. Our players are still watching the, the thing, so I'm just going to ramble for a little while and let them continue watching. Right, guys? I'm not watching. My Twitch crashed. I got oh. the beginning of the, of the recap. It oh. was quite nice. And then yeah, it finished. I, I watched The internet failed me. Okay. It's awesome. It is Shout awesome. out to somebody. Layla. Where you are. Crew, Shout out to Layla a, and crew. They their names are on the end of the credits. And plug. Okay, it is up there. Yes. I just keep awesome. forgetting to rearrange all of our faces before we go live, and so now we're all in the wrong spots again. Hey, I'm okay. Justin. And apparently, I'm using the wrong microphone. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, we gotta change this. Hold on. The chat can hear everything that's happening in my house right now. Hold on. <laughs> Let's lower this volume. And let me go shut a door because I fucked up my mic. So, babe, can you shut that for me? Yeah, I'm making everyone breakfast. Okay, Thanks, trademark, trademark new stream. <laughs> trademark new. <laughs> Whatever. Chat gets extra audio, and you guys get you know. So are we? Are we? Are we good to go? Can I start ripping on Chucky yet? You can start. <laughs> <laughs> so what is? So what? Can we? What is? Go, you sent a message to all of us like five minutes after we started. Oh no no no! That's not that. Is that for next <laughs> week, or is that you guys? That, that is that is from wherever you can, from wherever you can do it. It's uh, it's not for now. I'll deal with it in the break. Neil and Justin are already on top of that, and I'm sitting here like, well, <laughs> you had homework. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan is is the kid that comes to school. Uh, uh, my dog and my homework. I'm sorry. <laughs> you literally sent this like six minutes ago. How am I yes. about, Ryan? We did that last week before the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that. They all finished it. Yeah, Which yeah, was... yeah. All right. So. So are we back to the dragon who hid under 2,000 pieces of gold? Is that yeah, we got, we got that to, to argue about. <laughs> so there was a very small dragon, right? Like about this big? About, yeah, about that big. Okay. No, I mentioned I mentioned that the dra the pile of the dragon is not necessarily all gold. It was <clears throat> a lot of it was silver as well, uh, which would make the pile considerably bigger. And the dragon itself was just a large creature. Okay, but if he's a large creature, that means he fits in a four by four set of squares. Okay. So, so he, in order to be completely covered by it, he'd have to. He can't like burrow into it. Someone he'd have to like lie down. People would have to pile it gently on top of him to completely conceal him. But still, I, I it, don't know. Maybe he had servants do it. It's possible. But if you think like the dragon, even if he's a large creature, maybe he's like a, a long but kind of thin dragon, you'd still need gold or coins piled like three feet high in a 10 by 10 square. So if we can math that out, okay. there's a lot of yeah, can I there. Can I interject for a second? Okay, for, for the sake of argument, an American quarter weighs just <laughs> over five grams. Um, we can t That's a pretty small coin. Yeah. We can go. We can go a little bigger if you want. But anyways, five, five at five grams, two thousand quarters will only weigh ten kilograms. Ten kilograms of even a very dense metal is about like this big, <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe like a cubic foot. I don't. I don't know. Just order of magnitude. Yeah. There's like maybe you could hide a lizard in a in two thousand. 
Um, what's a bigger? Let me. See. A half dollar is the, eleven grams. Mm, so that's so half. From what I've seen in the actual DMG that, of the gold the coins, mm -hmm. the gold coins are kind of like this. So that means this we can't carry that many gold coins on ourselves because, like, a hundred of those. That, where, what, that's uh, actually how the what DMG. What planet do we live on where there's that much gold? I, but, I or is actually or, actually well, funny yeah. enough. Funnily enough, real life, there is enough gold to cover the whole planet in a three uh, meter layer, but it is way too deep down in the ground to mine up. That's that's a whole what? No, no. that's 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 real. I'm, that's not, real. I'm not going to accept that. We we can. That's a conversation we another time. Of gold. Yep. Yes, the whole world cover the whole world in a three in meters layer thick of gold. Yes, that's can, how much gold there is on that, planet I will, Earth. I might believe it. I will. I will, I will. I'll send it to you after I find the okay. article I read again. All right, well, I'm looking through this DMG for a picture of a golden coin. I don't see one. It's at currency. Just I mean, this, is, this is your fantasy universe. Age 15. So, so we've all got, we've got gold, we've got 2,000 gold coins bigger than our faces. Exactly. These are just specially made for dragon. <laughs> um, yeah, they do have pictures of the coins, and they're not all round. The yeah, those are just sort of examples. Yeah. Does it say in the DMG how much a gold coin weighs? Pictures of gold coins. Oh, the gold one is like this. Yeah, the platinum yeah. was more like this. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, let's get back into the game. So I collect my 10 million gold coins off the ground and put them into the bag of holding that you gave us. <laughs> <laughs> You it's take up the room. purple, the purple looking bag, and you stuff it with gold, and you realize that it's about it's it's a full bag. It's full. Oh it's no, not... it's full. <clears throat> All right, um, but we do seriously collect two thousand gold coins. Um, I'll take I a take thousand. Nope. You can each take five hundred. I did most of the work. I'll, I'll wait. Sorry. I'll take the thousand. You guys can take five hundred. I, I did most of the work, but you did help I... me out, so. Oh, I have no pockets. You may take whatever loot you deem yourself right, worthy. I'll hold his for him. You can take 500 and I'll take 1,500. But I promise 500 of this is yours, okay? Good, good. I'm glad we all agreed to this. And Bowen will step forward and start inspecting the gate. What? Let me check, actually, the state of my... Whew. I'm act we're, I'm pretty beat up. Yeah, we're yes. we're all pretty wrecked. Yeah. Let's hope that this gate isn't trapped and shoots fireballs at me immediately after <laughs> battle with the dragon. So do you want me to roll investigation or anything along those lines? If you want to. I am. If you want to figure anything out. Um, but investigation wouldn't necessarily bring anything out. The only skill that would help you here is spellcraft. Okay, so officially a coin weighs about a third of an ounce. So 50 coins are a pound. How much does a um, how many ounces does a a, a quarter weigh? Is five grams is I can't convert grams to pounds in my head. Uh, uh, point zero one, one. yeah, point one seven ounces. A kilogram is about two pounds. Yeah, that's right. So a thousand grams, grams yeah. is about two pounds. And you said uh, a quarter is a fifth of an ounce. A quarter yeah. is five grams. Two thousand quarters is about is ten kilograms. Yeah, two thousand so silver dollars would be like twenty kilograms, a little more than that. So one hundred. So still of gold. That's I mean that's like a, that's like a couple bricks. A couple, how much does a gold bar weigh? Aren't they like some some like ten ounces or something like that? Well, gold bars gold bars are standardized at um, a pound in the U.S. and like pound. some a number of kilograms. No, 12, 12 kilograms is a standard gold bar. So we're yeah, talking in, in Europe. Yeah. The dragon hid under one gold bar is is my back of the envelope calculation. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's it's something pretty close to that. Or the coins aren't made of gold. There's some absurdly light. <clears throat> Anyways, perhaps there's two thousand gold and like five million copper lying about. What I was investigating um, this gate. Okay, and I, is the only skill that will help you here. Well. Mm, <laughs> Bowen, Bowen, there is no spellcraft sp skill in 5th edition, for starters. It's basically like um, Arcana. It's basically an right? Arcana. No, Arcana. No, Arcana. No, Arcana. I'm Arcana. A, I'm a, I'm a, I've investigated much witchcraft in my day, and 
with the stairs blessing, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate the shit out of this out of this gate, whether whether it's allowed or not. So that's forty pounds of gold coins. Twenty plus. So we actually can carry all of it, just for the record. Two thousand yeah. coins is forty pounds. Yeah. I have enough ah. room in my encumbrance ceiling ah. that I could actually carry all of it. One okay. one of my mods winked me this. No, See, only an eleven. And if you're not accepting my proficiency bonus, it's like a nine. So, or even less. Yeah, an eight. Not enough. You have no idea what these Perico rune gates are about. Uh, what Can you, you at least give me the basics, though? Is it like rot? Oh, iron as I said before, bars? it's black iron. It's very, it's a very big uh, gate, and there are three giant glowing runes on it. One on the left door. One on the well, left gate, one on the right gate, and one in the middle, in between. Do I recognize? Do I recognize the runes? Does Does it appear to be? It's locked, obviously. No, you do not. And you at do least... not recognize. There is a shimmering force I don't want... field around okay. around all of it. So I can't even get to the gate. You can no, you can see the gate. The, the shimmering force field is right in front of it. Like, How tall like is this. the gate? Do I do I walk into a force field? You you gotta no, I mean, you gotta tell me those things. You can investigate without necessarily touching. Everything. Uh, and Bowen can't. No, I was I was under the impression that I was that I was touching this gate and trying to open it. Okay. Yeah, and upon touching the force field, nothing happens. Right? So I can't go through the force field. You cannot go through I can't it. Even you get can't to touch it. it. Okay. Well, okay. I'm pretty sure this is witchcraft. Hold on, I have some questions party. about the gate myself. I I crept my arcane the track. Tell me about the gate. Oh, okay. Marshall. <laughs> it is a um, it is a. <laughs> Uh, most likely, from what you can figure out, without having any any knowledge whatsoever about uh, something like this, this is very old magic, and it is dispelled quite hard. Maybe uh, the hammer could help with the runes, but you don't know what will happen. The runes might mean something. The runes might do something when broken, or the runes might just uh, be the basically the keyholes for the gate. And they're not, in a, they're not in a language I recognize? No, it is familiar, though. Uh, can we interact with the runes from where we are, or are they on the other side of the force yes. field? Yes! No, no, hey, hey, guys, get out of the way! Hold on, hold on, hold on. You are collecting your gold. <laughs> I've, I've collected all my gold now. It's taken a while. <laughs> how wide is this... Chucky, how wide is this gate? And how tall is this, this gate? gate this gate is 20 feet tall and 15 feet wide. And including the posts on either side? Including how high does the force field go? Go. All of it, all of its length. All of how high does the force field go? Is it is like is hey, the gate just many, like how many meters high is the is the force field is the gate? The gate is twenty feet. The force field just covers the gate. Is the gate like much, in inset into you know? the tower? I think we should stack, and someone should throw me over. Yeah, I was trying to calculate if I could hurl you like what, or what or like, if do we have some rope do with their oh, weights over the. Yeah, we probably got rope. No, it's um, it's, it's uh, there's no opening. There's like it's rock. It's in the mountain. Okay, it's so it's like it's it's but it's abutted against the mountain. That's what that was my question. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Mark that doesn't make sense because that gate would be leading over the river. No. No. Look at the map. No. Look at the map. No. 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 no, no. We went over this last week. Oh, he drew it. He drew it upside backwards. down. Backwards. I drew it upside down. Exactly. Okay. All right. So make it easier in the battle than have it the other way around. Yeah. So. Marcher, is that you said you don't recognize his runes? Is that in the language of magic, or is that uh, language you do not recognize? So, so I close my eyes and take a deep breath, and I try and listen to my blood. Is my blood telling me that this is related to the moonstone? What the fuck? Oh, Ranios. That is what you hear. Is okay. That's not a language I understand. Is it sound familiar? You just hear this. Yeah, that that's exactly what you, you don't know what that is, or whatever. If, if it's a name, if it's a thing, if it's a word, that is what you hear. Okay. Uh, I try telling the gate that I seek. What's his name? I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to look through my notes to find, find his name. What's his name? What's his name? The the guy that we've been looking for this whole time. Zial? No, not Zial, you bastard. Elenthiel? The the yeah, Elenthiel the Sage. There we go. 
you say a one field sage and your blood boils even even more intensely but nothing happens okay um well i have some ideas but anyone else want to speculate about the gates everybody, everybody give me a perception check uh disadvantage on <clears throat> disadvantage on justin on my friend Mm -hmm. Okay. A perception check? Yes. Uh, my perception is actually minus, I believe. 23. Oh, no one. Perception. You see the hammer. Stat. You see that his hammer is starting to grow. Very, very faintly, but it's starting to grow. <laughs> Why do you have well, disadvantage on stealth checks? I don't know. Check? He's even closer to the hammer than I am. And the idea that he is currently looking at the runes and mm. trying to figure those out, uh, closing sense. his eyes, trying to hear. Right. I, I mean, I'll immediately point it out to him. Marchur, you're glowing. Get that shit away. <laughs> back up. Back up. <laughs> All right. I, I, yeah, I take the hammer and as I look, I'm looking at it as I back away from the gate. Does it stop glowing as I get further away from the gate? You back away from the gate and still growing faintly. Still I walk. Increasing easily, easily increasing. Ooh. What's that? And I walk up to it and start inspecting the hammer. Uh, it is the most beautiful hammer, war hammer you have ever seen. You cannot imagine this thing in combat. It's bejeweled. Um, almost, almost all of it is encrusted in jewels, and it has is absolutely it iron, no silver, dent gold, or scratch platinum? in it. Made Look, of gems. It seems to be steel, but mm. there's something weird about the steel. It's not not regular. None of this is new, though, right? This is the same hammer we've no, been no, no. around. No, 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 but Fimbo has never seen it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yeah. this is a very pretty hammer. Yeah, Where'd you'll get, you get smacked it? with it if you try and get your grubby hands on it. <laughs> hey, hey now, hey, I'm just complimenting okay. a man uh, So I'm just going to start taking a short rest. Okay, hammer. so you lie down. I've, I've, I'm too old for up. this. Yeah. <laughs> How wrecked am I? Except I'm the, probably the youngest of the party. Even Maybe, though I'm yeah. I'm middle-aged. No, how, how old are you, Fimbo? Late twenties, I guess. Uh, I, I guess we're the same age. You're I'm a dwarf, dude. Years of age. By oh, the really? way, I'm young. Justin. In five E, dwarves mature make quickly. Your character sheet. Really? I have not made this character sheet. I made Brutus, though. I tried to upload it, but I don't have permission. I'll give you permission. And for those in, for those inches, what I was talking about, the cac their character sheets are available on on my stream down below. It's like a person cactus tab, but Justin has not made it yet. So I'm going to link it in chat if anybody wants to watch the character sheets. Go on, guys. Sorry. Okay. Random side fact. To date, let's see, 174,000 tons of gold have been mined in human history. <laughs> which only equates to uh, 9,200 cubic meters or a cube about 20 feet on a side. Still hardly large enough to hide an entire dragon. <laughs> <laughs> You're not giving that up, are you? <laughs> no. I guess you could have plated it in a fine layer of gold foil. You can get that stuff pretty thin. So was it a gold leaf yeah. dragon? Like like a little candy, little candy, you know, think like Easter egg wrapped in foil, but gold. And, and Neil's just picking up the little gold flakes. That's how I'm going to imagine it. Sorry, it was something... Do I finish my rest? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Drag I mean, Dragons hang out. That's what they use for blankets, right? They use gold. That's why they always need yeah, all the gold. Gold foil. Gold foil. Okay, so everybody else. I mean, he's, he's resting. What do you guys do? Um, so there's three runes on the door? Three. Yes. Um, I take out my handkerchief with the, the guy's blood on it. I can't remember his name either. <clears throat> the, uh, the druid from way, 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 way back when. And I, uh, yeah. From the town who gave us the crazy mission in the first place. What mission was that? Oh, Haggard? Yeah, Haggard. There we go. Haggard? Haggard. You... It's a really wow. bad name for someone. Well, it's his name. I didn't pick it. You his pronounce his really name right. <laughs> and I, uh... Oh, poor Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> so We're so mean to him. I I, I pick so like I, I I I pick to the rightmost rune. I feel like good. I have a good feeling about the rightmost rune, and I walk up and I sort of rub some of the blood onto the rune. 
Isn't it protected by a force field? What are you doing? You can't touch the rune. I try and touch the rune. What happens? You try Wait, and touch the rune. Is like the dried blood of Haggard? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you do not even... Um, so I'm so sitting as... down, munching on an apple. I'm like, I think it Wait. wants our blood, but like hell am I giving it any? <laughs> Why would the runes want your blood? <laughs> As I spit out a mouthful of blood. <laughs> hey, hey, why would the runes want your blood? What's so special about your blood? Uh, in, in theory, we're descended from the original guardians of the world. It's a long story. What happens to the rune? But what would have happened if three other not... random PCs had wandered up to Haggard? Would they have been descendants? Probably not. Or maybe every adventurer in the world is a descendant of whatever. Oh, maybe that's why they're adventurers. Yeah, maybe that's why we can level up in those... Ordinary little NPCs can't. Maybe and the and the nemesis, uh, your nemesis is basically a uh, descendant as well because they level up as you level up. They basically just need to stay somewhere and do random shit. Okay. So, so what are we doing? <laughs> I, I was just here to get the gold, the... and this wicked dragon thingy is dead now. So um, why don't we just leave? Why do you need to go through the gate? What's going on? How would you even get out of here? The stairs are gone. You're going to climb down the side of the tower? Well, I have ten acrobatics, so probably. Okay, you do that. What happens to the rune when I try and touch it with the blood? <laughs> you touch it with the blood, <laughs> it, you don't even smudge it. Nothing happens whatsoever. Alright. Hey, I mean, what did the force field feel like? It, it feels ooey, like almost slimy. Ew. All right. I'm inspecting the. F so, okay. The, yeah. Hmm. You can inspect a lot. Yeah, you can inspect. Ask me small stuff, but if you do anything that requires an action, then you're yeah. not resting anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna take an hour to think about this. I feel like an, yeah. I feel like a good hour of reflecting on the uh, the wall is a good idea, or the, on the door is a good idea. <laughs> Does anything happen during that hour? <laughs> okay, Fimble, you're the last one to not have not taking a rest, so what do you do? <clears throat> How tall is the face of the mountain where this door attaches to? You look above and you cannot see the top of the jacket tooth. It is Are there clouds crowded in the way, by or gray. Is it just... Yes, they're crowded by gray clouds. It's so could... above. It there, there is a top. I mean, maybe it's normal to be a to be a peak to any mountain, but you don't see it. Mm -hmm. You know that high up in in the mountain as well. Okay. I'm, I'm take a rest. Yeah, okay, so you guys all take a rest. You recover half your head die. No, uh, that's the wrong rest. You just you can use your head dice if you want to. All right, I'm gonna throw down a couple d8s. You do get, you don't get con this. bonus, do you? You do. Yes, you do. So if I yeah. roll, it would be I would roll d8 plus three then. If your con's plus three, that's really yeah, high con. It is. I have. Yeah. Complete. This is the yep. first rest. God, I am. It's been like two weeks since we played. I'm trying to make sense of my notes. This is our first rest since we had our last long rest, and during our last long yeah, rest, so you recovered all your hit dice. Hit die. yeah. I have no idea how many spells I've expended though. I think I've expended most of them. Does that sound right? You expended, I think I expended all of them. You expended all of them. Yeah. yeah. You're completely done. You're completely tapped. Um, I have a couple level one cell slots left. I'll go ahead and expend two hit die. Um, but I'm probably just going to continue right on resting. I could actually get a second level spell slot back with arcane recovery i could get a two and a one should i do that i guess i should do that i gained 13 hp so i'm I have a sitting, sitting pretty one. tight but i say that this is an unholy place and i'm losing my connection with a stair above okay, I well, all my it, I'm, i must i must spend some time full. It's only unholy because it's corrupted, right? Now we've cleansed the evil. the The goodness will come back. Yeah, I suggest oh, we. I suggest we spend eight hours in in this spot, consecrating it and preparing for our journey ahead. That's a long time to be sitting out of the open. 
But, but we well, we, like I have, we could make a we could make an invisible hut. But by the rules, we can't actually take another long rest until sixteen hours have passed. I have a treasure hunt uh, for you to go on. You might even you might even get some good loot out of it if you like. What's what's your what's Don't the half name? Don't me. What's Thimble. your thimble? What what? Thimble, a brave adventurer, once left a very heavy backpack full of rations, equipment, and trinkets and rations. Ooh, where? Um, let's see. It is. Do you remember the first castle across the river? I point to it. Yeah, I see it. Um, Jesus, can I even describe? Can you? Can we walk during a long during a long rest? Uh, Not during a long rest, no. All right, Bowen's gonna contemplate and see if he can instruct the halfling how to go get go fetch his backpack. It's it's in that little side room, right across the across the bridge, and then to the left. Yeah, but it's in a secret closet. I hope I can find that secret closet. I can find a secret closet. I go across the bridge, and it's in a secret closet on the left. Yeah, it's through. Uh, God, it's through the armory. Just to the left after you cross the bridge. Was it an armory? Some sort of storage room. There's a yeah. hidden 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 <clears throat> panel in the wall. And the dart trap's already been deactivated, so don't even worry about it's that. A big, it's a big beat up rustly tra rust or traveling sack, but it hides many secrets inside. And I will share those secrets with you if you will fetch it for me while I take a nap. <laughs> I look suspiciously <laughs> at you. You guys are kind of boring anyway. I take it this is your backpack that you left behind and you're just too lazy to get? Uh, <laughs> I am a brave adventurer, are I not? Well, I'm bored with you guys anyway. I, so. I recline, and letting my coin purse jingle satis uh, satisfactorily against my thigh. All right, I'll go get your pack for you, but only if you pass me a, uh, what do you say... Half those coins in your purse? I, let's see. They're all copper. Ha <laughs> <No. laughs> I actually probably have two pouches, and I take off one and throw it to you It's in, in its entirety. It contains 25 gold coins. I look at it slightly saddened. <laughs> and I need to grab a pencil. It's something. I say there there might be more valuables in the... In the yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm backpack. going. Neil, can your character even carry all that gold that you theoretically looted? 12 strength means I am unencumbered with 60 pounds on me. You're going to have to drag my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, you might... Yeah. You might want to leave... You're just going to tear it to pieces. You might want to leave anything heavy here. <laughs> um, I take off all my gear. Um, say, there's 8 pounds of jerky in that pack. Oh I good, I can throw that overboard if it gets heavy. <laughs> no, not my jerky. How, hey, Chucky, how tall is the tower? The, like, about, how, how much rope would we need to let down to some, have someone get out of here? Well, about 200 feet. Okay, that's... that's. I have 100 feet of rope, but... No, it, I need that for my journey. Isn't Bowen's 100 feet of rope with his backpack? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> you be on your notes. <laughs> No one. Oh no! Wait. Oh no! Wait. No! Wait. I let, I have two hundred feet of rope because I I have looted red rope from a dead body. I forgot about that. Excellent note taking. All right. I'll probably spend the first. Well, I probably would have done this during my short rest. So I'm dis. I've removed my armor and I'm like stretching and trying to get feeling back into my back into my fingers after wearing <sighs> sixty five pounds of steel. Um, I okay. take off my backpack and ask Martur to throw his rope off the ledge while, you know, tying one end to something. Yeah, I'll belay him down. That's fine. Okay. And then I climb okay. down to the rooftops and then I go from rooftop to rooftop ch -ch 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 -ch, over towards the bridge. Um, is the bridge covered or uncovered? Uh, the bridge is uncovered. <clears throat> okay, I look down. Does it look like if I get down there I can climb back up? I mean, you look down, you see a... Uh... River, the river, the waters of the river are raging. No, I mean like I'm Wash. on top. I'm on the roof of the building, and the bridge is below oh. me. I'm trying to get from the roof to the bridge. Yeah, 
you could definitely climb up. Maybe mm, the stone is kind of wet, but if you're a good climber, you could easily get up back. Okay, cool. I uh, climb myself down. I don't know if you need me to make an acrobatics check, but let me do it just because my acrobatics skill is ridiculous. Do it. 24. Yeah, okay, you make it down successfully. You have a the skill to plus 10. Yeah, well, I have plus 4 for dex, uh, plus 3 for proficiency bonus, and thieves get to pick skills to be expertise in, where you double yeah. your proficiency bonus. So Okay, let's go back nice. here. Bards can, yeah, bards and rogues get some really good skill things. Um, this is all... So, one second, you should be able to see now. Yes. I run across the bridge... Okay, you want to cross the bridge, so about here. Like, you go to the other side. Yeah, move your character. I'm moving him. Alright, and I go through the open door. Because I don't think go anyone shut the, the door doors. behind them. God, no. And uh, in this first room that I'm standing in, I would like to search the walls for a secret door. Okay. Oh, so he's it. never going to find it. <laughs> Two. Nope, no, no secret door. Everything right, normal. Good. Moving on up. The and... secret door has a back entrance, right? Like if you go around to the left. I start yeah. searching the hallway on the left side. Do it. <clears throat> 17. Mm, nope. No secret door. There's a perfectly regular door, though. What? Okay, so then I get all the way to the top, and there's no secret doors on that no. wall? All, like, all this wall on the left side, no secret door. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go for this doors. first door. Yeah, well, you said secret door on the left. Your instructions are terrible. I know, I know they were terrible. <laughs> I opened the, this first door. <laughs> I told you it was an adventure. You didn't want to rest. <laughs> it, does not, it does not budge. Fucking jackasses. <laughs> I opened this door. We, wait, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't relock any of the doors. Do they auto-lock or something? Nope. Uh, that one we I left locked, I think. Although, Does this I one think I handed the keys to some prisoners. Who knows what they did with this okay. half the dungeon. Uh, unless, if there's a secret door already open in this room, let me know. Otherwise, I'm making That's a all, check. Uh, there's a turn at the end of that hallway, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, there, is okay. an actual, there is an actual secret door open on this side. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, because you did not, you did not close that. And your little halfling heart is beating out of your chest. You're so excited. Yes. And now you see the two barred doors to your right and to your left. What the, from the fuck inside. is this shit? Where's this bag? Do I see a bag? You do not see any bag. <laughs> you see three doors. Two old Motherfucking jackasses. <laughs> I, I try and exit the bottom door. You this enter this door. You walk around and you should, like see absolutely nothing except a dart that has like... It's smudged with green on its tip. This must be the dart trap he was talking about. I must be getting close. I open the next door. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yay, back, back. the bag! It smells of jerky. It's like, it stinks of jerky. <laughs> At this point, I, I looked back. through the bag for anything of value. It's probably about 50 pounds. Um, shit. Okay, let's, I mean, it's Hold kind on. of a mess. What, what is valuable in this bag? I'm not sure. Well, immediately on top, it's probably got my nice winter wolf cloak actually folded up on top. Um, beneath that, you'll find a silver thread. Um, there's a rope tied to the side. There's, it's mostly like my stinky ass backup clothes. Um, there is uh, some sort of fa fabric enclosure thing, like some like a looks like cloth. Just give me the high GQ value things. I mean, it looks like a nice bag. Uh, there's a small wooden <laughs> box. There's an. I there's open a the little box. I, I open the little prayers. box. What is it? What's in the box? Inside, inside the box is a platinum necklace. I take the platinum necklace. It's probably, okay. Probably worth about ten GP, I think. There's a there's a little little dangle at the end of the necklace. Tiny little tiny little platinum thing. I said a book. I don't know if you'd recognize it as valuable, but it is. No. And then there's just like generic ration. They're like generic okay. camp stuff. Uh, I drag the backpack and I open the door kit. on the left here. I think it probably only weighs about 50 pounds at this point. Okay. Well, I can carry that then because I don't have any other gear on me. Um, I try and open the door on the left, Chucky. 
You unbar the door, <clears throat> and you open the door. Okay. I drag my the backpack in here. Uh, look around, and I try and open this bottom door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you open this bottom door, and oh, no. inside. Oh, wait, is there something in there? <laughs> No, yeah, just keep going. Keep going. <laughs> just keep going. It's fine. It'll be fine. Oh shit! There's a minotaur in here. <laughs> oh god! I was just trying to hide the bag. Well, Ryan I, wouldn't I can... find it. So, okay, I open the door and start dragging the bag in there. You know, open the door. Yeah, you see like a lot of food, and it's like a lot of food. There are like, pigs and sheep hanging on stalls. There's cheese. There's bread. There's like whole caskets of right. grain. I I put the bag in right next to the door. Go grab a, a hunk of cheese and head out. You go down and grab a hunk of cheese, and then you hear. I look. I look. And a huge like you hear a huge like sound as if steel dragging on stone and behind you sitting right in front of the door is a big minotaur wait behind Half me human. blocking the door yes how the hell did he how did he get behind me like he's a big minotaur how the hell does he get past me sneakiest it's, minotaur no. in the world sneakiest minotaur. sneakiest minotaur in the world even though he goes boom boom <laughs> boom and there's a the sound of steel dragging yes, it's, it's like it's like try it is trying to make itself known after that to put it, he wants some attention. <laughs> you see the minotaur there. You have he looks intently at the cheese wedge in your hand. I do this to go, <sighs> and I throw it to the side. He takes like another hoof on the ground in front of you. Giant great axe in his both hands, and he looks and says, mm, "Half human." Who are you, and where is your permit? Uh, hey buddy, I, I don't know what to tell you, but all your friends are dead, and your castle's been kind of ransacked. <laughs> and uh, the guys who did it are up on the tower after I killed the big black dragon. But we so have a permit. You should probably just go away right now. I don't want to have to hurt you. Give me a. Um, you can either you, you can either give me an intimidation check or a persuasion check. Intimidation? How is that gonna work? It's not. That's how it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, Twenty-one exactly. intimidation. <laughs> intimidation. Uh, I'm sorry. Persuasion. 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 Let me just roll for him. If you lie, I smack your head in. Hey! The Grace Groves never lie! Hmm. Stay here. I, I go get my piece of cheese while he leaves. He leaves, and you hear a quick, and the door seemingly was locked shut. <laughs> What? He locked me in here? <laughs> <laughs> With the cheese, at least. At least you can get a snack. Oh. Um, After... I want to pick the lock. Pick the lock? I want to pick the lock. Pick the lock. That's sleight of hand, do you, right? Do you have, yeah, do you have a few stools uh, kit with you? Um, shit, I didn't finish writing nope. my character equipment last time. No, I would not have it with me because I left all my gear behind. Yep. So, you didn't, you cannot lockpick. Without these tools? No. Nope. No. Without these tools, no, no, no lockpicking. Fuck me. Are there any other doors in this room? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I still say there's no way a minotaur, a, a large minotaur, would escape from my notice getting behind me. That literally no. doesn't even make sense. He was raiding beside the door? I don't know. You dove greedily. I said I put the, the bag next to the door. I, I would have door. seen him yes. there. The Minotaur was hiding behind the food to the side. That is the same thing that happened when you guys first entered there. He just like lives behind the behind the cupboard. He, was, he is, yeah. He is actually hiding, like waiting for people to come in that he can kill when he's. This this is his hobby. 
Don't don't badmouth this hobby, guys. I do the same so, thing. I hide behind the food by the door. So I'll come looking for him if he doesn't get back in eight hours. But otherwise, I think oh, in thirty minutes. In thirty minutes, you hear correct, and like big head of the Minotaur pops in. <sighs> Half human. You're not trying. You can go. Okay. And I hop out and scamper between his legs and run back. He, yeah, you basically just see him. Do you leave the bag? Oh, Getting yeah. Getting You leave the bag? Oh, yeah. That's why I was hiding in there. <laughs> he looks, he looks like he... Mm, jerky. <laughs> and you just leave. You don't know what happens next. Yeah. I, I scamper out and run back across the bridge. Dun, 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 you run away. I climb the building. I guess you need an yeah, acrobatics, need an acrobatics check. check. Yep. Thirty. Is that enough? Uh, maybe. Just a bit. Just a bit. Okay. <laughs> is it acrobatics, and, not oh, athletics, or is it either or? Um, it's actually climb. either. If I think, I think you can choose between. Okay. Usually, acrobatics and uh, athletics are interchangeable in most cases. Okay, I make so it back, you go back. Climb up the big rope and get up to the top and go. <gasps> Owen, Martur, you'll never believe what happened. You when don't I got have to the bag, bag. You... no, the bag, it wasn't where you said it was. I had to search all around and I finally came to this room that had all this food in it. And there was a big minotaur and he was eating your bag. And I drove him off with the rapier. <laughs> I mean, um, the, the, a sprock that I picked up over there. And he left the castle, but he took your bag with it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we will hunt down this minotaur when this is through. So sorry, Bowen. Thanks for the gold. Then I go over and curl up and take a nap. <sighs> okay. Damn, there was some really, some really priceless... Priceless last character. Yeah. Well, the, you, had, you, you, had, you had the gems, right? You had all those sapphires that were hidden in the lining. <laughs> oh well, too late now. Fimbo, you hear this? Like, why are you napping? Um, I perk up and go. Sapphires in the lining? <laughs> well, yeah. We should we should really go back and get that bag later. Oh, too bad. The bag's lost forever. You don't actually want to fight a minotaur. They're really, you know. Tough. I, I drove him off once. I can drive him off again. Well, you, you should go back and get the bag then. That's fine. Well, he's already left the castle. We'll do it later. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, do we get a long rest in? Uh, you get a long rest in. That actually went worse than I was expecting. Like, I thought you would steal some of my valuables, but you didn't expect him to take everything. Yeah. There's a halfling. You can't trust halflings. Now you've learned your lesson. He did retrieve the the main item that I wanted back. Yeah, but he doesn't know you. He doesn't. You don't know that. He has it. Is this this is one of those? Is it an important necklace, Ryan? Vaguely. You can if you investigate it. I can tell you what it is. (laughs) Uh, I'm gonna wait until you guys are not around to investigate it. What level do like what experience do we level six? I actually remember looking this up and now I, I think uh, Thimble should get experience for slaying a Minotaur. Or fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. Okay, so we're like three thousand off. Do I get okay. Minotaur slaying no. experience? Because I did defeat the Minotaur. <laughs> with my and he wits. was behind us in XP, I believe. Although if I if he gets ahead of me from that, I'd be mad. <laughs> Make him mad, no. Chucky. Make him mad. Nope. Nope. No XP. No XP for that. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. What happens? Uh, well, you guys wake up. Nothing is just is changed. You are in the same predicament. Yeah, I, don't I, have have any, I don't have any jerky. I, oh, yeah. Yes. I, I have some jerky. I give you some jerky. It's fine. Okay, I'm slightly reluctant to hit the door with the hammer, guys, but I think I should hit the door with the hammer. Do it! Hit mm. the door with the hammer! 
Bowen, you, you have any yeah. like sage advice? Okay, I hit the door with the hammer. <laughs> okay, so, uh, just, uh, the Neil, are you actually playing music on your end? Nope. What what should I play? No, no I'm playing it. I'm playing it now. Boom. So, you hit the gate with the hammer. It goes up with a bright light, as bright as the sun. You, you guys cover your eyes. It's way too bright to look at it. After that, the rune is cracked in two, and the cracks go further and further. Like the whole shield, the whole force field is made out of glass. It's cracking. In your head, Marfer, you see the image, a familiar image, an image of a a tree, a twent, as big as a mountain. After that, the cracks get the second rune. You see another image in your head. You see an image of a serpent, giant serpent as big as the sky, eating its own tail, looking like a ring. Then the second rune cracks open. You hear another cracking. You get a hammer. And the hammer is shining right as much as it had ever, ever shined right. The cracks, both from the rooms, converge into the one above. And as they hit it, you see another image, Martha. You see a shapeless thing. A thing of grayness. A thing that embodies everything and nothing at the same time. And the cracks widen the gaps get bigger and the gate explodes in a million shards the gate and the shield as well do we get hit with shrapnel you do not get hit with shrapnel it explodes as if it was never there do the, the runes don't even materialize and like fall as stones or anything nope oh they were like magic runes like okay I get it now I push the door open. As I said, the black gate is not there anymore. Oh, it's just like completely gone. It's completely gone. It's wow. as if it was never there. The black. So what's in its place? Is it just a tunnel? A tunnel in the mountain? Just a tunnel. Well, I told you that was some witchcraft. All right, I'm suited for battle. I pro I mean, first thing in the morning, I would have gotten my plate mail back on. I strap my shield up. Oh, shit. I totally forgot to mention, Neil. Hmm. There was a massive, ornate greatsword leaning against my bag. Yeah, totally left that uh, where yeah, it was. Totally. Yeah. And a flail. A, a regular flail. You left, left them the where they were. Okay. Um, so I start jogging down the down the cavern. I'm rearing to go. Okay. Um, I on straight light a torch big for me. Maybe. Maybe I light a torch. I start whirling my flail and it glows as well, shedding light equivalent to a torch, I believe. Is, is that a equivalent to a torch? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll cast light on my uh, staff. Why not? Cast light on a staff. We all have our own sources of magical lighting. Everybody, give me a perception check, please. If your passive is greater than 15, you can just skip it and tell me. My passive is 15. Is that, do you... that is enough. As you run along, you see cracks. Cracks that shine faintly, very faintly in the darkness, moving through the cave, through the stone, in the same direction you're moving. Fimbo, you see this as well. Oh, guys. Passive is 10 plus your regular, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And if you have advantage passive, it's like you add another five. Nice. Which is a thing that can happen. Oh, you, okay, you said cracks are forming in the... in the. Not cracks in the stone. You look closer and it's not a stone that's cracked. It's like these are lines. This one, tiny threads of light. In the forms of cracks moving along the wall. So I think we've stopped. I've stopped. Stare at the wall. As the rest of the party continue moving. 
I mean, it, well, I'm, doesn't see it. I'm behind you, so I'll, if you stop, I'll stop. And if you're How wide is the hallway? I think it's wide enough for all of us to be... Oh, yeah, definitely. 20 feet, uh, 15 feet wide. Uh, that doesn't matter. I still stay behind the cleric. Okay. So I, I, I was, like, like combat pace jogging down the hallway, and then I come to, oh. a, come to a stop and look at the wall. Um, does it stop? You said they were advancing? Yes. Does it stop moving when I stop? No. Guys! It keeps going ahead of us. It keeps going ahead of you. I start to slowly walk to the back of the park. Yeah. I, I've slow. I mean, I'm still walking forward and looking around, but I've slowed a little bit. And I look back to the exit. Martyr. Do you point out the cracks to me? Yeah. I. Uh... I think they're leading deeper. I and think I, point, I indicate that they have traveled along the wall a good ways in front of us. I think the entire cavern system was coated in that protection spell, and when we hit the uh, the door, it was like destroying, you know, pulling out the arch stone of an arch, and the whole thing's falling apart slowly. Is so it safe to be in, in here? Or we run out? I say as I continue to walk deeper into the cave. I. Do we need a map of it? Like, are there, is it just a long straight tunnel? No, no, no. As far as we this can is see? all gonna be. This is all gonna be me describing it to you. That's a yeah. long straight tunnel. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'm continuing to walk as I verbally express these. I think, based on what Haggard told me, that this is the reason that this particular moonstone has never had to be moved. So if we keep going, we should find it and Elenthiel. Wait, what's the moonstone? It's a prison for ancient evil. Thimble, just keep your mouth shut it? and be grateful that you've been included in this historic event. Hey, hey, I saved your life, remember? No, I don't remember it <laughs> yeah, that I way. Yeah, I don't remember that either. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, I start walking down the tunnel again. Ridiculous. You, yeah, we're continuing to, to move. Let us know. You see a white, a white, green, white. It's like a, a small circle moving towards you. And it suddenly stops. How far in front? Just a couple of feet in front of you. It's like a small, very, very tiny human with small wings and <laughs> very dressed very lavishly. A fairy! I say, I and I, I skirt towards it quickly, um, using my bonus action as a dash. To get I try to step. I would try to step and block his path, but it's like he, he can move through my spaces and. Yep. I don't think there's anything I can actually do. Nope. You could use your sentinel feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could use your sentinel feet. No, then I'm not I'll use my bonus action my as a disengage. I'm not gonna. No, I get to. I get opportunity attacks even if you do disengage. Oh my god, that's come at me, bro. <laughs> and you and you. <laughs> but I'm not gonna hit you with my flail, so don't worry. Well, you could, you could just punch him. That's a flat one damage, right? No, yeah. but it still stops him completely. Ryan, did you know that Aaron's watching Honor Bound right now? Uh, is she in chat? <laughs> no, she texted me. What? Hi, Aaron. Get with the, get with the times, Hello. Aaron. Sorry. Join, join okay. Twitch chat. That'd be pretty... Oh, that'd be an awesome one-off if we had Aaron, Rachel, and um, Lauren? Lauren take our places on Honorbound for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, that'd be so funny. It wouldn't work, and I don't think they'd have any fun. Aw. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's continue. Okay, so the pixie fairy, whatever this is, looks at all of you and says, "Come on, he's waiting. I'm coming. What's your name? I'm Thim Thimble." Well, I don't know what my name is. It's long been lost. You can call me whatever you want. You don't have a name. How can you not have a name? Well, I've been here for a very long time. I forgot it. Would you like me to give you a name? If you want to. Okay, I'm going to give you a new name. And I'm going to base it in my own name because I think of you like my own daughter. Your name is Thimbalina. Okay, let's move. Okay. I think this conversation is happening while we're walking. Yeah. Yes. And the... <sighs> The cave narrows, narrows to five feet. You walk in a straight line, each of you, 
Thimbolina still uh, flying ahead of all of you. So I think it's and Thimbolina, then... Thimble, me, Martur at this point, right? So if we yes. if we put Thimbolina in a bottle, do we automatically revive when we die? How big is this is this barrier sprite or She's whatever a happens to be? Tiny creature. So like you dare a, a put Thimbolina in a bottle. Is that a little dragonfly do. wings or butterfly wings or what did you say? Butterfly wings. Butterfly, butterfly wings. wings. Okay, so you enter this new chamber. It opens up maybe 100 feet tall and double in that wide. <clears throat> Lavishly decorated. A raccoon, the giant wooden table with a sign on it, a golden circle. The golden circle that in one corner is broken by a gray, <clears throat> by a gray strike of color. To the other side, you can see a life thriving in here. Trees growing. There are even birds flying about. This is an amazing sight. This thing is like an oasis in the middle of a mountain. Is there sunlight? There is light, not sunlight. Small beams of light coming from up above that seem to be shining equivalent to a small sun. Does it feel familiar? Like, does it feel like the, the same energy I got from the moonstone way back in? No. Okay. No, it does not. So is there a path leading through this or just un there is no path. intended overgrowth? But there is, <clears throat> there is a um, chair that's moving. The chair is moving? Thimbalina, yes. where are the we chair take, taking around, And you can see there a uh, elf. An elf so old, you can see his white hair is basically longer than he is tall. His face is a bit gaunt and his cheeks a bit sunken, but he still has the grace of an ancient elf. He raises himself from the table. I, I jump back startled. Where did this table come from? <laughs> Where did this chair come from? Uh, uh, um... I marched we up stay, and st stern there. How did we get right in front of a table? No, the that's room. it's the table. The table, right the table was there. It was literally the first thing he described. Okay, yeah. that's when I was spacing out. All right, I'm good. <laughs> I, I march up to the elf, put my hands on my hips, and go, "How could you not give her a name? Do you know how rude that is to refer to people as objects? You should be nicer to your servants." And then I take a few steps back. Yeah, um, he kind of smiles at you. I step like aside and let Marjorie her smile. And he says, Welcome. Welcome, Hamilton. Welcome, Martha, Fimble, and Bowen. How do you know my name? Magic Elf. Uh, Ellen Thiel watching. the Sage? That I is my presume. name. Okay. Though I haven't heard it in hundreds of years. I hang my flail over my shoulder and begin casting a spell. Wait, what the fuck did I just walk into? What's going on here? How do you know my name? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cast Detect Good and Evil. You cast Detect Good and Evil. Yeah, I... And he kind of like just... Rub my, rub my shield for good luck. Rub the holy symbol on it and trace out a triangle in the air. He just basically looks at you and smiles at the same time, just with a coin on his mouth. Muttering prayers under my breath. So what So what do I see? Good. Good. Very good. Very, he's very good. He is um, very, so he for him to be- a, a very good child. He's gonna get a lot of presents for Christmas. So <laughs> is he a celestial or a fae? I, I think he I- He is guess. none. Yeah. <clears throat> Though he has the essence- Well, elves are fae, so if he was an elf, like, if he's an actual elf, he would be. I was more he concerned that he's some sort of demigod or, you know, powerful being from another plane or some shit. Uh-uh. He has the I guess essence of... Or a witch. Beyond a certain In point. Case, burn I guess they are oh, basically demigods. What is demigod. his essence? His essence is different. It's not as you normally expect from an elf. It's like it's, be, it's being touched by something else. Still in the realm of the holy. But... Something you've never sensed before. Okay. Not so even in Haggard? Seriously has to tell me what's going on here. 
We did. Don't see much. I I I just muttered. I muttered like a schizophrenic person, and I'm now scanning the room. Yeah, and that's you draw attention to me, out. and I look down, and I immediately notice my consecrated necklace in your pocket. How did you notice uh, it in my pocket? I don't. I don't bring it up, but I, I. Wait, can you actually notice that in my clothes? Yeah, because yeah, it's consecrated. It's, it's a holy symbol. It's been blessed by. Yeah, that's there. By, by priests. It's totally in my pocket. No. <laughs> um, but I, you can hang on to it for a little longer. <laughs> Uh, look, I clearly wasn't using it. Look, he's two thousand years old. This is an ancient prison slash. Then why are we letting the prisoner guardian? Out? No, he's 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 the warden. He's he's not letting him out. Oh. Sit down. Sit down, everybody. Wait, You've, how do, how do you know my name? He can see things. There's a there's a thing. My name isn't Never written mind. anywhere. Your blood, though, your blood has written many things. Wait, you is this the he... shit you were talking about earlier? About adventurers having blood that does something? Yeah, same thing. Not adventurers, no. But <laughs> very, few, very few in the world still exist. Even besides you, that might have been here instead of you. That have the old blood in their veins. And that is how I managed to see you. All of you. Like little threads. And however, so big you cannot even see <clears throat> from thousands of years of watching you're the only ones I can see the only ones I can follow and I've seen everything you've done hammer weirder yeah I'm not happy about that idea I've done some stuff that's not good <laughs> if you had only been good you would never have gotten here sit down let's eat and suddenly, as he says that, a banquet a, uh, of food, of a all, a yeah, banquet, is yeah. banquet. Yes. I, I, I raise my hand as this approaches. Yeah, I still haven't sat down. I'm a little confused. Uh, uh, Mr. Yeah. Elf, Mr. Elf, have you seen Call everything that up, Bowen yeah. and I have done too? He nods. All those with the old blood. So this one has the old blood too. We've got a we've got a we've got a friend downstairs whose old blood has been petrified. Are you and, sure you didn't mix and, up? And then a castle fell on him. By the way, can you do anything about that? She shakes his head uh, and says, "I will explain why I can't. All of my power is somewhere else now. There might be uh, there might be a." others that can help you but I can't not now sit eat drink we don't have much time and why are we eating and drinking because you're going to find out a lot and it's better to sit down <clears throat> I take a seat at the banquet There's, well it's he's an ancient mage right so he has contact with ancient magic Mar just trying to think of stuff that he might have read about guest rights and protection spells i think we have to eat guys why do we have to eat i mean you don't have to convince me i'm gonna eat anyway but what do you mean have to eat i, I think it'd be safer if we ate let's put it that way you think this is magic food N i think there's ancient magic involved in eating at someone's table. I look at the elf with wide eyes. All right. I continue to concentrate he as smiles. I mu mutter intangible prayers to myself, and I he plop my, myself down in a chair, setting my shield and my flail on the ground next to me. He smiles even wider at Marfa. You are wise. You are wise, Hamawede. Use that wisdom, and what is to come, you will need it. If you think he's wise, you should see my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> random, random bits of ancient knowledge don't count as wisdom. But I, I do sit down and eat. Uh, Bowen, do you eat as well? Uh, is the food already out there? Yes. Is it evil? It is not evil. Is it like blessed or consecrated or anything, or is it just regular old no, food? Nothing. It's just a regular old food that appeared magically on the table. 
Regular old food that magically appeared. You know, the usual stuff. Mm, I, I'll i nibble, but I won't fill myself. I assume I already ate a breakfast of jerky rations. <laughs> Wait, so can we do this? So I'll, I'll go through the motions of eating and being polite. Mmm, this is really great. I scarfed down food in large quantities. Relatively large quantities. Uh-huh. I'm anticipating poison, so I wanna I wanna keep my dose exposure as low as possible. Uh, so I, ancient ancient wizard, huh? Got any spellbooks laying around? No, I'm kidding. So um Arthur. Who was it in the end? Who sent you here? I don't know if we got sent here so much as we ran away from Goldfort. Uh, oh, so Bal- no, Balrog was the second in command. Who was the actual? What was the name of the commanding officer at Goldfort? Balrog. It's was it Balrog? Nice to scratch your face with your fork at the dinner table. <laughs> it's a it's a yes, tuning it fork. It's fine. No, no, Sir Balrog is the Sir Bagel. Bagel. Balor. There we go. Bela the yeah. No, not him. Between the Guardians, who sent you here? Oh, Haggard. Haggard? Yeah. No one sent us here. We are... We came here of our own accord. Uh, he I, said I saw that he, they were in trouble and I came to help. He said his name changed every time the stone moved and he lost all his memories, so that might not be his real name. But he was a really old human guy who could turn into a bear. Maybe, maybe that's more familiar. <laughs> He had good intentions. Well, do you want to know the full story of what you've gotten yourself into? Nah, well, yes, but no. No? <laughs> I have no idea what I just got myself into. Yeah, I, 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 really I, I like just, 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 just tell me, yeah, just tell me the story. It, it's too late to do anything else. I wish there was another way. There once was many old gods that coexisted with the gods of Sorum, choosing to have physical bodies and exist only in the physical realm. Centuries of prosperity beaconed on the world until something happened. Now, this is not remembered by anyone of this world but me, as I have seen it many times over. This was the Age of Tranquility, an age forgotten by time. The races of Sorum lived in peace as one nation, flourishing in a rich one. Elves, the artists and sages of the world, dwarves, the workers and the artisans, gnomes, the inventors, halflings, the proudest race of them all, orcs, the mightiest, half-breeds accepted and welcomed, and humans, the aristocrats and merchants. The events I am going to tell you about, I ask you never to tell anybody else. Because the tale would be twisted. And everybody will blame each other for their part in the destruction of the Age of Tranquility. And the fall should be stopped as much as possible. The gnomes discovered something deep underground. A giant orb of polished, shining white stone. And announced the word about it. Usually they didn't get much attention. But the halflings got word of this and would not rent until everybody saw this and talked to the gnomes into letting them ask for a uh, pilgrimage fee, as they called it. The dwarves were immediately interested in this and spent years trying to break it or mold it, but it could not even be scratched. Eventually, the humans got wind of this as well and employed the orcs to move it from the ground where it was stuck. And with their tremendous strength and numbers, they managed to do it and brought it to the elves. They spent 33 years creating a magic ritual to break this fear. On that day, when all the races were present in a place that once was the first forest of Sorum, and the domain of Koramor, the old Trent god, and the birthplace of Ranios, the serpent god of time, the orb broke. But it was not an orb. It was a prison. It grew in hundreds of pieces, and it came out. You know him, Martha Korad. You have met him before. He awakened the old blood inside of you. 
It is nothing and everything at the same time. Pandemonium. Chaos. It uttered this, these words. So, this is creation. Let's see what you are made of. He instilled the word, his very essence. And he did not have much to do after that. The age of tranquility was broken. War, greed, famine, rape, murder. Things that never happened on the face of Sorum took place. And the old gods were hunted by their own followers for power and corrupted by the same sins as mortals. Only nine remain. The only nine that rose up against and fell in the deepest pits of corruption changed by his touch that is when the old god appeared an alliance of mighty heroes from all over that wanted to end the centuries of war and two remaining old gods Ranios and Koramor and through many hardships and losses we endured but finally we managed to defeat the forces of chaos and we faced them head on this is where the first mistake was made it offered to stop all of this take his claws out of Sorum's soul. He never even lifted one finger to fight. He let everything proceed like he was watching a show and smiled. He doesn't have a face, but you can always tell when he's smiling. He would stop only if two conditions were met. That the old gods of time and earth were bound with him. The old gods were between us. They helped us fight. I looked at Koramor and Atranios. They were shaking. I was the only one to notice. And what could I have said when they reluctantly agreed? My voice was gone. My body was cold as ice. We defeated all of his forces, but he still won. And the second condition was that he would that we would take an eternal vigil. So the old god would continue, given immortality by Ranios, the old god of time, and strength of Koramor, the old Trent god. I was the first and appointed guard here, and I have been standing here ever since. I have felt the fall of Koromo and Ranios into madness. We didn't know he could do that bound in a prison, but they knew. They knew. And as the years passed, they told me as little as they could without it overhearing. Peace came again, and the kingdom of Iskariot Goldheart, the second of the old god and his honor guard. We thought if we were in control we could avert future disasters, but it was not destroyed, and the seed it left in the world was strong. You know the story as it goes on, Martha. You have seen the fall of the kingdom of Goldheart, the corruption of his son, the summoning of demons, the fight on blackened ground, and the imprisonment of the demon king Asmodeus and his inferno shadow dragon. What you do not know was the prison was cracked. It corrupted Iscariot's son, and it gave him power beyond imagination to summon demons, also corrupted by him, from the deepest circles of the underground. They were coming to the prison in order to free it, but we came up with a plan. I sealed myself in here with the runes that you just broke. No easy way in, but we had to bait the demon king to face our armies. We created that hammer that could breach ritual spells, so that we can bind Asmodeus to our own ritual, but even so, it would not work on him when Anwes very weakened. He took the bait, Iscariot had the hammer, and a long war came, but where we won at a high price. Peace was broken, and four more moonstone prisons were erected, each guarded by one of the old guard. Iscariot, Goldheart, Changed his name to Iscariot Silverarm, and he was never the same after losing his son. You are here because he has finally given up, I guess, exactly as it predicted. My time here, as I have come to realize it, he does not think in ages, years, it thinks in millennia, and did not think it wants destruction. He only wants one thing to test Sorum. That's its only purpose. The four Hymer readers before you were all brave men, Martha. Honorable, powerful, 
wise and virtuous. They managed to keep the Grey Armies at bay. But you're the last one, he says. The last one and his friends whose threads of destiny he cannot see. The last ones able to change what is to come. There's still a few of the old blood out in the world who could have been standing here in your place. But that is how fate has put down its tarot cards. Soon, an hour, maybe a bit less, I will die. And the final test of sorrow will begin. I ask you not to interfere. I am too weak to defend you if you leave this table. And they are more powerful than ever. Good luck. May you always find a path in the darkest of nights. I leave you with this. She is the only one to have kept me company all these centuries, and although she does not possess my knowledge, she may be of help. Be ready. The nine will awaken, one by one, and you must face them in the corrupted forms. Break time. <laughs> and break time. We'll see you guys after the break. <laughs>